What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast, and today I've got my buddies, Mike and Jesse. How's it going? What's up? Guys, we're discussing it's The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 10. Uh, uh, Entitled uh, new f- Shit. Shit Show. Uh, shit or Shit Sandwich. I think but shit it's actually sandwich. new best friends. Works, yeah, it's it's new best friends, aka shit sandwich. That smell um, like shit. Oceanside Part Two. Oceanside, shittier than Oceanside episode. Uh, yeah, we didn't like this fucking episode, guys. If you haven't checked out the review, parts. Go of this check episode. out the review. Uh, yeah, the review and and see what we thought. But uh, before we jump into this discussion, I do would like to. I do would like. I would like <laughs> to remind you to stick around for the special uh, promo uh, that we that we that we have for you for Comic Blitz. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Mike, you want to tell us what this episode, uh, this shit episode was about? Of course I would. While searching for a missing Alexandrian, Rick and his group encounter a mysterious collective, its inhabitants, unlike any they have came across before. Yeah, they're all, they're all horrible. Yeah, it was... Shit. Shit. All right, guys. So uh, why don't we talk about something that... that it, okay, so the episode started out pretty solid. Great. Promising. It, it started out pretty freaking Promising good. is a good word. Yeah, with with the with, uh, Ezekiel meeting with the saviors. Yes. Um, I mean, and that's, you know, uh, again, Richard fighting, uh, you know, having a little tiff with that dude, Jared. I um, love that scene, didn't you? That was actually that. Yeah, I mean, uh, by, by far the the best scene of the of the fucking. The only redeeming Morgan thing this episode was him smacking the guy's gun out of his hand. Yeah, right, that with was pretty staff. cool. Hey, don't forget fucking huh? Ben. Ben coming. Yeah, in Ben for the quick save. Up. And then Ezekiel was a douche and said, "Don't do it again." Yeah, more or less. Yeah, well. But you feel, don't you feel that rage? Like, Richard's like, I will fucking rip you There was tension apart. there. Like, I felt that tension. And he's like, the only reason I'm not is because I have respect for this fucking guy who I call King. Yeah. Damn, man. Those fucking wow. saviors. They, listen, all I'm saying is when it goes down, they better fucking rip them a new asshole. They need to destroy the saviors. I want like Jared from Subway there to get his comeuppance. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Well, let's see how long. Uh, let's see what happens with between Richard and Ezekiel now after this episode. I mean, yeah, if Ezekiel, if if Richard was going to sneak out with Morgan, you know, and and kind of take take some of these saviors out on the, you know, he's obviously doing that behind Ezekiel's back. So you know, sneaking let's out with see. Morgan, he means you mean Daryl. Uh, Daryl. Well, that's well, yeah. So let's move to the next scene then, where he shows he because he he thinks Daryl's a kindred spirit in that they, yeah. you know, he's like if anyone's going to help me change either change his mind or do something about Daryl it. Daryl is up until he endangers up until Carol. He, yeah. So okay, so the whole idea that Richard had was to lead them to Carol to get her killed. And enrage Ezekiel. Right? And be like, oh look, they killed Carol. Yeah, I mean sacrifice and that, her. that scene was was kinda okay, but that, I love that though. What's her name? What's her name? He's like, just tell me your name, you know? Like And it's like Ugh. Yeah. He's gonna yeah, say I mean, it. You know, I thought I thought it was good. I really thought at one point, if you watch the live reaction, if it made it in there, I think it did. But at one point, I thought he was gonna pull that fucking trigger. At the middle of Richard talking, at one point, I was like, he's gonna pull this trigger. Oh my god, he's gonna trigger. shoot him in the leg and yeah, like I'm leave him glad, there. Yeah, I'm just glad Daryl got his uh, crossbow again. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's not the same one, but it'll do. He's got yeah. a crossbow back. That's fine. This is a new model, you know. Yeah, new, new and improved. Um. So yeah, I mean that was pretty cool. I did we did gloss over uh, Morgan and Daryl though. Morgan popped back in, and um, Daryl was like, "What the fuck were you out with them for?" He's like, "Are you yeah. fucking kidding me right now?" <laughs> that yeah. was his ad. Like, Are you fucking kidding yeah. me right now? And he's like, "No." He put him in play. He put it. He put he put Morgan in, in in his. You know, he he said what we what the audience wanted Daryl to really say Same to him. him yeah. You know, about, dude, you know what would happen if like, Carol knew about this and, and, and about Abraham and about Glenn and, and um, so yeah, look basically. At you. You're fucking bleeding. You're fucking yeah. going out with them, perpetuating this fucking farce. Like, come on. Mm-hmm. And I can't stick up for Morgan at all this episode because he literally got smacked upside the head and he's still not wanting to go to war. Mm-mm. He got and his he, fucking, his bow, his baby bow, and even yeah. asked the guy. He even... He fucking humiliated uh, himself. He, he humbled himself and said, can I please have that back that was given to me by somebody who's not with us anymore? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that was, like, the most fucking humble thing. 
Yeah, you know, show well, to you, suck it up. You yeah, know, like, look, we up. just had this dumb shit happen, but look, I'm I'm coming to you as a fucking human. Can I have that back? Yeah. Fuck that, man. Like that. Like that alone would have been like these people are animals. They're animals. Uh-huh. Well, Morgan, Morgan, and and Carol really have disappointed me the, this last you know half season, if not more, with the way their characters going. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I agree. You know, I mean, I'm I'm assuming there'll be a turnaround when shit really hits the fan. You know, I'm assuming that Carol will be involved somehow. Something is going to happen. Something big. Um, I said before. I think we all said it that we think that maybe Benjamin might get it. You know, and this might start. I was for sure thinking that was happening this mm-hmm. time. I don't know if it would happen this soon, but I'm, like I said, I think it's going to happen sometime in the near future, maybe within the next episode or two. Um, we never see a breach, and and they keep saying this into the kingdom by the saviors. So I'm, I'm thinking that's that that happen. may that, happen. That's going to end up happening. That's, happen. happen. that's and, what's going to make them. Fucking... Yeah, they teased us with Ben and showing some skill now with the bow. And Ben's going to die. And Ezekiel, that's like his little uh, his brother, his son, whatever you want to say. He cares for him. Yeah, he definitely cares. And for him. Ezekiel yeah. is going to, that's what's going to make it, you know, that's what's going to make uh, Ezekiel wake up. So yeah. up until that point, it was, it was, the episode was good, but then it went to dog shit. All right. So trash compactor cut. You ready? Okay, so here here comes Chris's rant. Okay, count it down. Three, two, one. <laughs> Motherfuckers. This is not fucking Mad Max. And I and I said this in the live reaction and I'll fucking say it again. This is not fucking Mad Max where it's like fifty years, a hundred years or whatever into the fucking future. I mean Max wasn't that fucking long in, but still, it isn't a generation into the future where motherfuckers forget how to speak. Alright? <laughs> Or cut I hair. Mean, even a generation or cut into hair. like the future, you wouldn't forget how to speak. Exactly, that's my fucking point. But why all of a sudden <laughs> it's like, like oh, bit, wait, there, bit, bit, bit. we want now, we do it we now. Want guns. <laughs> so we want Rick, guns. Up, 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 up. What the up, 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 fuck? Up. And, and then she tosses Rick down to fucking crazy. There garbage, was so like... many things wrong. Okay, okay, oh, all right, okay, God. all right, okay, okay. So. Rick saunters in with with as their circlum and he's like, "All right, all right, I can deal with this." And I'm sitting here going, "Now, I didn't like that. Fu- I, I immediately I, I pulled the fucking mic. I was like, I don't fucking like this shit ha- with Rick and them having to. Um, your life is ours now. Blah, blah. I was like, No, 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 no. This is the. But Rick is gonna go along with it because he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, All right, I was well, fed up with it before I'm that gonna- point when they were circling around and walking back and forth. Well, he's all, yeah, but he was like, he was feeling it. He was like, all right, I'm, I can work with this. I'm good with this. I know what's going to, he's like, he knew, he, he already knew it was coming. He's like, I'm going to talk to this bitch. I'm going to get what I want. I'll mm-hmm. probably have to do, something. he's not dumb. Okay. He knows, he knows, but it's yeah, just, have to do something. fuck man. It was dumb. It was dumb. It was a shitty, stupid setting. So, uh, she, she, the, the interaction between, because you know Rick is such a great, fu- you know Andrew Lincoln, such a great actor, and then they have this fucking swamp thing chick here, slick fucking Willie. He's, I, she's I, an Uruk I, from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, she looks oh like an Uruk. Yeah, she looks fucking. And then con, you, man. you know, you you pull out, you pull out. Uh, uh, Gabriel looked like he just got raped. Oh God, <laughs> fucking Gabriel! Yeah, that guy got yeah. fucking pound hosed in the back, and fucking he comes out. <laughs> I was like this, not like this. Yeah, like oh, he, he wanted to be like, but I just and then we, it's like, I just can't, man. It was it was very frustrating. It was very. I have not, to admit, for someone that was taken hostage, Gabriel was pretty convincing of his acting. Though that was that was a good acting. I mean, I'll no. give him that again. And this is why I said the concept was good. The concept is good. Ga- the fact that Gabriel was like he he grew a pair of fucking nuts, right? I he believe fucking, in Rick Grimes. You know, yeah. yeah, you know, this man can do anything. Like again, but again, he's a fucking fanboy. He fucking put Rick's fucking nuts in his fucking on his chin while he was talking about him. But that's what Gabriel well, does what do you because expect? he was like this when he got there. Now he's like, <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah. So, but the point is, is he just you know. <sighs> Again, the concept is kind of cool. The concept of him having yeah. to be like, look, let's convince... It's been done before, so why wouldn't it work here, right? Let's convince these fucking people that they need to work with us. But then but then they bring him up to the top of this fucking shitty fucking pile, and he fucking gets thrown down like he... And then he has to fight the shitty fucking... I'm sorry, guys. If you thought that that fucking walker was, like, the coolest thing you've ever seen on the show, please, please. Sheev is the coolest thing you've seen on the show, not that yeah. fucking shitty walker. Uh, it looked okay, like in stills, and like for a second. But when you looked at that shit, the costume looked all fucking styrofoamy. The f- it did, uh, you know. And then he's the fighting. The makeup wasn't the best. And then he's fighting like a fucking bitch. 
There's tons of shit around him. I yeah. saw a fucking cooler. I saw a ton. I saw yeah, a fucking Thompson. whole computer. He beats him with a fucking uh, stupid yeah. fucking keyboard. Like, Michelle's like, Michelle's like, Rick, Rick, just just pull down the pull down yeah. the walls, Rick. Like what? Oh, I that's mean, a that, good idea. It worked, but at the same point, like it was a shitty fight. It was a okay. shit fight. And now he's got tetanus in his fucking right hand. He's got a fucking and gouge. His leg. It, gouge in his fucking leg. Is he gonna lose his hand, guys? Is he gonna lose the fucking oh, hand now? Fucking better not. <laughs> So, so I wanted to rant about it for a different reason. And it wasn't the whole like your whole like premise there. It was a completely like related reason, but still. Okay, so you're fighting the walker and stuff like that. I get that. that that's that's all right. But the writing in this in this scene in particular. Mm, yep. So cringeworthy. Yep. Just I, I'm sitting over here. Between everybody. Between like, everybody. I, I'm surrounded by knives, and I'm like, yeah, I wonder if I can cut my ear off by the time she's done yeah. talking. Can yeah, I, well, that's only, like, how cool would it have been if he found, like, a pipe or a steak or something? And There and was pot- plenty of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, She I even know, said throws, that that thing isn't fucking... there for that. She's like, is that what you do to, he's like, is that what you do to, um, to test people? Yeah, he, no, she's no. like, no. Yeah, well. She's like, his name's fucking, what, what Jerry, what the fuck was his William, name? Um... Kevin or Will- some bullshit. Willington. What the hell was it? Um, yeah, Winston. Who knows? Winston. S- win some shit. Maybe. So but no. Anyway, so they, they, so uh, it wasn't like they did that on purpose. But wait, that's not even the worst part of the episode. Rosita is. The- Rosita. Rosita. Grow Rosita. Up. her. I'm gonna go out I'm, by I'm myself. I'm myself from calling her what I want to call her, but redeeming uh. her card from last week. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say it. She's a cunt. She is. She's acting <laughs> like a dumb bitch. Yeah, she's, Stop. she's fuck. So, and then, so, and then, so and then Tara, the then Tara. Oh, Tara, you've been out far enough, like farther than we have, probably. You, yeah. you could find something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I can. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. I can. I can say, Tara might take Rick aside, be like, "Yeah, there's this I, group over I there." So. I can. I can give her the benefit I of the doubt. Hope so, she man. might do that. I she will. So. How, she will. Because Jesus then, when they Christ. don't get what they need, when they don't get what they need. Still, the whole fuck, like you said, just the whole fucking thing is just dumb. Fuck you. The, it is. It, nah, well, they I mean, specifically they could have said, "Look here, Rosita, we're doing this." Slow your roll, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Nah, they, they they purposely they purposely um just kind of got a close up when when they were told with with the 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 fucking Jadis or whatever the fuck her name is this trash bag chick. Trash bag. When she was talking about you know I want bag. guns and a lot of guns you know yeah. so that that's Oceanside. It's yeah obviously yeah. yeah exactly and then and then there's so, that too like oh guess what guys really we'll plug it right in like really guys yeah. come uh, did you what happened this is only the second episode back we have how many more episodes. You better fucking do it right. Come on. And it's all due to the reason, just the reason they didn't show the walker getting killed. People complained that the the first half of the season was too oh. gruesome, too dark, too scary. Oh my God. You're watching oh, a horror shit. show. Get over it. Man up. Seriously. Go into it. Balls deep. Let's fucking go. Don't let your five, eight-year-old children watch the show, you Seriously. assholes. I mean, anyway, let's get if rid you're of, not mature enough to let's, notice yeah. what's going on, you're not it's mature enough to watch people. the show. It's a fake reality. It's fake shit. All right, let's go to. <laughs> well, he says that as we're as we're as we're actually fucking enraged from the fact that these characters did dumb shit. <laughs> but it's oh real to God. us, assholes. All right. Yeah. yeah. So it's like the beginning of the episode. Good. Uh, garbage pail kids. Shit. And then we get a little bit more promising when someone knocks on the door. To Carol's but house, eight. and who is before, it? Before what? they knock on the door, what? King Ezekiel and them trip the alarm and bring Carol oh, the cobbler. Oh, that's true. Some bring her some cobbler. <laughs> Eat the cobbler. Eat the cobbler. I, I, I actually like Jerry in this episode. You know Jerry's he's gonna die good. though, right? You know oh, that, right? You no, know he's oh, gonna die. Jerry's dead. Yeah, Jerry's dead. dead. Morgan's dead. Ben's dead. He's on talking dead. dead tonight. He's dead. He's dead like this season dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, so we get that quick little scene. And then and then we go yeah. to what we all considered during the commercials. We were all like, all right, look, if Sweet. if if Daryl shows up at Carol's doorstep, it might redeem the episode. And you yeah. know what? Did it? It did. Re- I, I don't think so. I, it, I didn't. 
I think Chris and me will be on the same page when we said that we wanted Daryl to tell Carol yeah. what the fuck happened with the Saviors. Yeah. Well, I can understand why he didn't, though. And that's why. Yeah, oh, yeah but, I get you know, why he didn't. He's trying to save her the heartache. He sees what pain she's in, the fact that he has to deal with that. Because but... he wants to protect Carol. Yeah, of he wants no, but, her but I think to that stay if he safe. Didn't, if he didn't see her whole little crying scene by the fire when she was cooking the meal or anything, and she was kind of, you know... Um, you know, just that emotion from her. I just, I, I he think that would have told her maybe. Yeah, if she was more, yeah, exactly. I, I just, I don't like that. You know, I always love. She's these not stable. So I'll, I'll give her that. She's not yeah, stable. It's not that she's not she stable. Is, she's obviously really is, stable yes. enough to know what she wants. If she was unstable, she'd be out there still killing. She obviously well, no, feels. No, there's different forms of being unstable. She cannot handle the pressure of having everybody else's lives on her shoulders like they have been previously. Well, I, I, I get agree it. With she that. had enough. Yeah, I, great. You had enough. But you know what? You still live here and you living by yourself, lighting fires at night and putting candles in the window, sitting with your back to the window. It's a matter of time. Like, it's yeah, a matter, it's a matter of time. Of time. It, it, well, just, like Carol just, said, Richard though, was she right. She can deal with it if it's her life. Richard was right, though. You know, it is just a matter of time. You're going to get, sur- yeah. you're not going to survive. Anyway. I'm not saying she's going to live. I'm saying, like, it's her life that she's wanting to have control of, not everyone else's. I get it. No, I, I, get, it. I get it. I get it. We we both get it. We all get it. But the point is, at some point, you're going to, you know, she she's going to find out. Look, She will have out. to do yeah. something She at does some care, point, obviously, right. You know, that's why she was crying, and that kind of bothered me, too. Like, bitch, if you cared so much, you cared so, so much, much, you would have been there, right. You, would, you're not, you wouldn't be sitting in this house by yourself. Right. So, for me, but see, that's that the annoyed thing. me a little. She can't knowingly throw everyone else's safety at risk again to protect the other people who who else what do you mean yeah like all right so hypothetically here carol's there with negan and them right and let's say daryl's back at alexandria all right who else is going to stand up and punch somebody probably carol i'm I'm just saying but she but that's not i don't think i don't think yeah i don't she would have spoke up or yeah, she would have got but, out of line. She might not have punched him, but she would have got up and spoke out of line, and she would have got someone else right, killed. But that, I don't think that that really has any real fucking... She she has the conscience that she has to protect everyone. That's what it Look, is. The, ex- well, th- like you said, the point is is that she doesn't want it anymore. She doesn't want that exactly. burden. You know, I don't yeah. know what she thinks she's going to get, but like it, like we well, we all know, all, all these things can't... I mean, look what happened to Morgan. That guy who did the same thing that, that, well, more or less, that she's doing. And then look what happened. The motherfucker went crazy. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, look. Anyway, uh, l- uh, enough about those fucking assholes. Yeah. Let's, get, let's get to the last scene when um, the, one of the best parts of the dialogue, one of the best dialogue in the show was that at the very end. Okay, so we see Daryl with Shiva, which was really fucking cool. Again, yeah, which was cool. It, yeah. oh, it opened and closed really strong. But the yeah. middle complete complete another mess um so daryl was with, is with shiva and he morgan comes in and says you know ezekiel is gonna be like happy that like you know he's like you know what what was his line again he said about that uh he would be impressed or something yeah but then daryl says something about uh anyone oh, who uh, has a lion as a pet must be, calls a himself guy a king, yeah. must be yeah. an all right guy yeah, yeah. So that was pretty yeah. cool. And then Morgan says to Daryl, he's like, as Daryl's about to leave, and he's like, I know, I know, you didn't tell her about what yeah. happened. And he's like, he's like, huh? And he's like, because she would be here, you know. Yeah. That was like probably one of the best lines. If I had, a, if I had a, you know, uh, rate the lines, I guess that would be one of the best lines. So yeah, that whole interaction, well, both interactions between Morgan and Daryl were pretty freaking awesome this yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, when you have good act, good actors like that to coming together, you know. Um, you'll get some good scenes. It's, sa- it's sad, though, because they are all good actors, and they're just given shit yeah. lines this episode. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't like, obviously, Rick and the shit Jadis chick. I didn't like her at all. She God. had this... Oh, my God. I'm so, do you guys feel drained? Because we've been, we've been literally, for the past two hours, been fucking, like, in, in making all these videos for this episode, we've just been ragging on this fucking thing. I feel fucking drained right now. I'm just yeah, like, I hate. It. I, uh, I don't like. I don't like. I mean, it, listen. You know, you want to be real when you're doing these kind of reviews and these discussions of these shows, despite how much you love them. You know, shit. There's sometimes it, there's it, shit. It, it was. Yeah, it was just. It was just shit. Shit. Um, so, guys, I want to bring to light something that you said in the uh, during the show, though. Uh, Morgan's accent, Lenny James. Mm. does an amazing job and he he's 
a hundred percent British, like Rick, or like Andrew Lincoln. Yeah. Uh, and he he just does the Southern like uh, black guy accent really well. And then it's like it's like, okay, there's a Southern white guy accent, mine, and then somehow Lenny James can take my accent and probably do it. Rick Grimes, aka or Andrew, <laughs> Andrew Lincoln. Lincoln, can take yeah. my accent and do it. But it takes a special kind of voice actor in order to get every voice they do spot on. Yeah. Now, uh, I've I've seen Lenny James in plenty of things, yeah. and every accent he does is freaking great. He he was in Jericho a long time yeah, ago. He was in Jericho. He was in um. God, he had his own. Uh, it was uh, another show on AMC. Yeah. Uh, something Sun or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, and a different American accent. Like different American accent. Yeah. And the guy just. It, it it's was good, something yeah. about the British actors on this show. I'm glad you brought that they up. They do yeah, great. They, they, that American was definitely accents. some good redeeming shit. Yeah, because it was that was a that was a bright spot in the in the episode. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. So. That's going to do it for us with this discussion. Uh, please let us know what you thought about this episode. I, I, I'm i curious to see if you guys, like, who liked it, who didn't like it, and what, what parts you did or didn't like. Uh, everybody's everybody's going to be following along just with us, I, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, they, they kind of they kind of didn't agree with our ratings last time on last episode, but... Uh, you know, yeah, but good, I think but good. We're glad, this we're glad, time. because that's what, that's what it's for. We want to get people yeah, talking about right. it. Um, who wants so, your opinion? Yeah, so please go check out the live reaction and the review video, um, and then to finish off, let's give him let's give him that uh, promo from uh, Comic Flix, Jess. So if you ever find yourself lacking comics, go over to comicblitz.com, type in third person pod as your promo code, and get yourself three months for three dollars. That's a dollar a month for three months. three months. Yeah. This is unlimited comics, over forty five hundred titles, and you're good to go. It's on iOS, desktop, laptops, and soon coming to Android. Yep. So, guys, please go check it out, Comic Blitz. And you know what? Let us know what comics you're reading because um, I'm yeah. pretty far behind on the comics I'm reading. But Oh, I am too. Yeah, we got to get back on there. Except The Walking Dead, which if you haven't seen, go check out our Walking Dead review because there was two this month and there's going to be two for the next at least one more month. I think next month and maybe the month after. Maybe the month after, but some really good stuff happening over there. Oh, so. Um, that's it, guys. Once again, thank you very much. Don't forget, we have our uh, our, our third giveaway is is in motion now. For we have two Q figs left, so we uh, have Batman and Doctor and Strange. Doctor Strange. Yep. So get get your, your choice. Get your entries in there if you want to if you want to win one of those two. And um, yeah, so that's uh, that's all that's all it's gonna be for us tonight. So again, thank you very much. Let us know what you thought of the video of the episode. I mean, and um, that's it. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Third Person. Thanks, guys. Um, bye. Peace.